Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Your name is? Ziad Mia. And what have you been doing for the past 29 days? Well, fasting and trying to raise uh, money for food banks across Canada. And how exactly are you raising that money? Uh, through a, uh, an initiative I started last year called Give30. Give30.ca is the website. People can learn about it there. And it's a pretty straightforward idea. Essentially, uh, if you're fasting, you're giving up food during the day. So it's a savings. So we're trying to transfer those savings to food banks. But you can take that idea to everyone. If someone, everyone makes a small behavioral change. Bring your lunch to work if you're not fasting. Give up your coffee and give that money to the food bank. You can see a significant impact. Last year raised almost $40,000 for the Daily Bread Food Bank in Toronto. Uh, and this year, just as of yesterday, passed $39,000 across country. And the campaign runs till September 9th. So there's still time to hit $50,000, $60,000 or more. A year ago, approximately now, uh, it was working a little bit differently. You were struggling, you were like maybe second guessing. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a new uh, venture. So you don't know, you know, you put it out there, you don't know what the response will be. So it's total chance, uh, but it really teaches you to give something a try. I mean, it may fail. I mean, there's some famous quote, I don't know who said it, that if you, you know, if you don't try and fail, uh, you won't really learn anything. And if you don't try at all, you won't even fail. Uh, so, so I think that's the spirit of it. I just wanted to try it and if it worked, it worked and it didn't, I would have learned something not to do it that way or improve it. But it seems to have worked. Uh, and this year it just took off organically on its own, took on a life of its own. Uh, it just spread to Alberta and all of Quebec uh, and still includes Toronto. And who knows next year where, what will happen to it. May even go into Will there the be US. a next year? Well, if I'm still alive, I intend, uh, God willing, to try it again next year. Uh, there's also possibility to move it into the US because again, it's a very simple idea, very simple web platform. You just build it with your partners and you invite everyone. That's the beauty I think of it is that the principle of Ramadan, social solidarity and empathy is extended to everyone to participate. It isn't any class, any faith, any gender, nothing. It's just everybody's welcome to participate in this. Everyone's welcome to be a part of Ramadan. So just to recap, it's give30.ca and it comes from giving thirty dollars it could be a number of things uh, you know the least you can do is give a dollar a day last I checked you couldn't buy a coffee even at Tim Hortons uh, or Dunkin Donuts or whatever the US version would be for um, for a dollar but what I'm thinking about is it's 30 days the 30 days of Ramadan make a behavioral change Muslims are already fasting you're changing your behavior significantly and you're learning that that's possible. You think you can't fast 17 plus hours? It's possible. You can end hunger by making a small change. So for 30 days, make a behavioral change, even if it's a dollar a day, but many of us can afford more than that. So, you know, Himi, uh, people spend about $10 a day average on food court lunch, which is probably not even good for you. And the average food bank user in Canada has less than $6 a day to use on everything, not food. After they pay their rent, that's everything. That's food, that's transit, that's medicine. Think about it. We throw away more money on a food court crappy lunch than someone has for all their daily needs. So for that month, those 30 days, just move that money somewhere else. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you a hard question and I'm gonna to be tough on you. Is this just not, is this just enabling the status quo, allowing people to clear their conscience? And there are many Muslims who can't who are actually the recipients of the 30. Yes. And then when they see all over the place to get admission into some public event, please bring some food, they're actually excluded because they would be the recipients of that. So how do you handle that? Well, there's you, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, it's not to assuage anyone's guilt. It's really, this is a grassroots movement to empower people to participate in something, to take ownership. Hunger is a problem in Canada. Some people don't want to admit it. Yes, it is a prosperous society. Look at this place. It's, hunger is not a shortage of food issue here as it may be somewhere else. Hunger is an economics issue here. It's a poverty issue. That minimum wage is too low. Housing is not affordable. Those issues need to be stemmed. But the first piece of Gift 30 is to ad address the hunger issue as it stands now through the food banks. But there's a bigger piece that we need to end hunger. We need to think about affordable housing. We need to think about minimum wage livability 
And we need to think about our neighbors. I mean, that's a fundamental principle in Islam. It's a fundamental principle in every moral way of living, I would argue, that we need to think about our neighbors and we need to reach out and support them. And that's what this is about. Yes, we're starting with the food banks. And yes, we're starting with the simple principle of sharing during Ramadan, but we're gonna hopefully go beyond that and address the bigger issue of hunger, which is not to have hunger and ultimately not to have food banks. Inshallah. So it's the uh, almost the last day of Ramadan, if it's not the last day of Ramadan yes. when people watch this. Um, the campaign will continue into September, yes, a September little bit 9th. past Labor Day. Yes. So for non-Muslims and Muslims, they can still they be can involved. Still participate. So if you hear about it now, www.give30.ca in the Toronto area and Calgary, in Edmonton, all across the province of Quebec. And if you live in another city in Canada and you still want to participate, you can still support any of those food banks. God willing, next year we'll come to your city. So if you're interested in participating, contact me through the website and we'll think about next year adding more cities as we go forward and even other countries. All right, uh, brother, I apologize for not getting back to you about this last year. Uh, so here we are a year later. It's the last day of Ramadan. So my guilt is now assuaged, frankly, on, on the matter of putting you on my blog, 30musses.ca. So this is Himi Syed. Uh, uh, with my guilt assuaged talking with the creator of Give 30. It's a different 30 than 30 masjids, but just as important, if not more. Assalamu alaikum, Ramadan Mubarak, give30.ca.